All right, let's do another problem. I apologize today if my voice sounds a little bit weird. I found out that um, today that I have COVID, so I might be operating on a little bit lower energy, a little bit less brain power, though. I suppose that I didn't have much to begin with anyways. Um, but yeah, so today we're gonna be working on problem 104, maximum depth of binary tree. Given the root of its of a binary tree return its maximum depth, which is the number of nodes along the, along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node. Okay, so I think for a situation like this, again, uh, something like a binary tree traversal, um, is pretty standard um, in order, pre-order, post-order, one of those. Basically just pick your flavor and you go with it. Let's see if we have one null two, so that counts as two. Anyway, sorry about that disruption. I just had to speak with my dad for something. Um, in any case, so even in the case like this, one null two, we have a depth of two, so it's the path to the leaf node, the number of nodes along that path. Okay, so, and in this case, the number of nodes can be zero. So if root is null, return zero. So that's our standard edge case. Then I think we're gonna need a global variable here and we're gonna say max depth. And we're gonna say um, val left depth is equal to root max depth of root left plus one. Next depth. Right, plus one. So in this case, um, we're not doing anything here if we have um, if we have uh, a null. And then if we go to the left, so let's say for example, an easier example, and actually we can go with this one, right? So root is not, root is not null. Then we go left depth, uh, which is zero. Right depth, which is going to be um, the max depth from here plus one. And from here, this is going to return uh, because left is going to be uh, one, right is going to be one, uh, essentially, because zero plus one on both sides, because they're null. So this is going to return run one plus one, and we're just gonna return the larger of the two. So if left depth is greater than right depth, return left depth, else return And we don't need to do anything uh, while we're at a node, basically. So this looks all right. And let's give it a shot and let's see if there are any issues that come up. All oh, right. Let's see.
actually I don't think I, we even need this max depth at all because by itself it should already return the maximum so in a case like this we have three right so it's going to return left and right can compare that it's going to compare this this is the same so it's two and two so it's going to return two and it's going to return three here and one here so I think ultimately the maximum will be proliferated up to the top and hey maybe this is something that we could have done for our diameter binary tree now that I think about it um, in the sense that it gets proliferated up though actually I think in that case maybe not because of the fact that um, if we do that then we will lose some of the context right we will only measure the single longest route um, and that's the only thing that gets passed out, whereas in this case we want, uh, that's fine here, but in the diameter we want to have both a single longest route um, that we've seen so far, as well as the single longest route uh, from either the left or right subtrees. So maybe not, um, but maybe something to think about. Again, I'm, I'm not too great at recursion, honestly. And this is something that I need to practice more, but seems like uh, seems like this is working. So let's just sub try to submit it and see where we're at right here. Okay, so runtime is a little bit weird. Same thing with memory usage. Maybe something that we can consider, but I think this is a fine solution. I mean, it's just traversal. I don't think there's any way that you can get much faster than this, but who knows? <laughs> I'm not great at these problems, especially dealing with graphs, uh, or trees rather, so maybe something to revisit as well. But in any case, 29.65% runtime and 18.97% space. And it looks like we got through all of the test cases, so yeah, I guess that's it for this video. And thank you so much for watching uh, this sort of weird COVID ASMR maybe sort of thing. Um, and I'll see you for the next problem.